He fired twice, immobilized Mr. Ross, and then went over and, 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 and executed him. And the judge, it's as simple as that. It's not because of his character. It's not because of the pain that this is going to cause the family, in addition to what they've already suffered. It's what he deserves. And I really think three to nine is a more than fair sentence for somebody that you know, executes his brother-in-law. And I thank you for the opportunity to be heard. I think when you look at all of the, the, the circumstances surrounding this case, and you look at the, the, uh, the character references, Judge, that, I, that I've submitted to you, I think a sentence of probation is appropriate in this case. They do so. This awful memory that will never be that I will not spend another day of my life without looking for a way that delivers some relief and some sense of the overwhelming grief that I feel to all those involved, including Lori and the girls and the entire Ross family. Thank you. I have been thinking about this case for a long, long period of time. It is perhaps the most difficult sentencing decision that I've had to make while being here, quite honestly. Uh, this is a tragedy of immense proportions that cannot be undone by whatever sentence I impose today. I hope that it's not lost on anyone that a grand jury has returned an indictment twice, charging you with murder in the second degree, where the minimum sentence was 15 years to life and the maximum sentence was 25 years to life. With the possibility as a 60-year-old man, you may well have died in prison while awaiting your release date if you were convicted of murder at trial. I hope you realize that many of your positive attributes and the circumstances of the 4th of July have already been considered in reaching this unique disposition of a plea to manslaughter in the second degree to satisfy a murder indictment taking all these unique circumstances into account. As a result of your plea of guilty to manslaughter of the second degree, the sentence is that of an indeterminate sentence of imprisonment of two to six years. The minimum is two, the maximum is six. There was a waiver of appeal at the time your client entered this plea. Is he reaffirming that waiver here in court this afternoon? Yes, <laughs> <laughs>